Today's video is all about creating a fabric wall hanging. So this is actually very customizable. It's very pretty. Anyone can make this with very minimal supplies. So I hope you do watch this video and see how you can recreate this in your style. So first you'll need a fabric. Here I'm using duck canvas fabric I got from Joanne Fabrics. And um, this is a very nice fabric if you're not familiar with it because uh, it does well with gluing, it does well with painting, sewing. So it's very versatile what you can do with it. Here I'm using a placemat to roughly measure how much fabric I will need for this. I'll just take a few inches more than the placemat so that it'll be big enough for the wall. So once I'm settled with the measurements, I'll just cut the desired fabric that I need. Instead of this fabric, you can also use placemats. You can glue together two placemats to get to a decent amount of uh, length. Or you could also use rugs. There are beautiful rugs where which you can uh, paint over or um, just hang it up just by itself. It's a good idea to iron press your fabric so you can get rid of any creases or any wrinkles. While ironing, I did one more extra step, folding in one fourth of an inch inside so I can glue that fabric or if you are good at sewing, if you have a sewing machine, you can sew it, then you don't have to do this step. So here I'm using Fabri-Tac to glue the sides together. So for the top part of the fabric, I'm going to just uh, leave enough space so that I can insert a dowel or a rod through it so that I can hang it. So make sure you leave enough space for that and just glue the ends. So here I am figuring out a pattern what to paint on this canvas and uh, it's always a good idea to cut it out on a piece of paper so that you know what you're looking at and how it's going to look. You can outline your pattern using a pencil so it's easier when you're painting it. So this is kind of a rough sketch of how I would like uh, it to look. So using a painter's tape is totally optional so I'm just doing it here so that it's more neater. So here I'm going to use blue metallic acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the top triangle with that color. For the bottom one I'm going to use black chalk paint. So none of these paints are fabric paints, they are all regular acrylic paints. For the second triangle, I'm just going to add a drop of the black chalk paint to the blue paint to bring an in-between darker shade of um, blue. So while that's drying, I'm just going to add a few lines to the pattern. I'd like to add some tassels to this, so for that I'm going to use crochet thread. So depending on how long you want your tassels to be, you're going to take a book or a cardboard that of that size and you're going to wind the thread around this book um, maybe like 100 times or again depending on how thick you want your tassels to be you can take another smaller piece of thread and knot it around your tassels take a scissors and cut the bottom end of your tassels Here I'm going to glue the tassels to the fabric. You could also sew them if you find that is more easier.
For the last step you'll need a dowel or a rod or here I'm using a tree branch. I just cut it based on the size of my uh, fabric and you insert it right in through the fabric. Here I'm using a leftover macrame cord. I'm going to tie the two ends of the stick using this and uh, that'll help me hang it up on the wall. So once you've tied the cord or the string on both ends of your uh, stick, you're good to go. So this is how it looks on my wall. It's very pretty. The best part is you can use colors, you can use patterns and designs that match your room and your decor. So uh, I hope you do try this out. It's not too hard to make it. And until next time, have a blessed day.